Hey guys, my name is Annabelle and welcome to another video. So over the past week, I've received hundreds of questions relating to my tiny house and I've addressed them in previous videos and people just kind of seem to assume that I haven't talked about it before or maybe they're just curious and want to just ask on that specific video. Anyway, I've got so many questions go through so I'm just gonna start answering them and get through as many as I can in this video. The majority of these questions are from my most recent tiny house tour that has received a lot of attention in the past few weeks. So, question number one. How did you get the money to build your tiny house? So first of all, I started it when I was 16. I was in school at the time. Um, it was part of it is and was part of my senior project in high school and so I was able to get donations from local businesses to support my project. Um, I did a fund two different fundraising campaigns online and then I got some personal donations from friends and the rest was money that I had earned myself. So just so you're clear it was thirteen thousand dollars was the is the total amount of the house right now and that was over so I started when I was 16 and it I'm now 20 so it's been like three and a half years um, so if you break that down it might seem more relatable or manageable um, the amount of money because I did not have all that money at once and I had to stop doing um, work on my house for a while to get more money in order to continue the build. Next question is where did I get my bedding from? So I did address this in the video and previous videos. Um, I tie-dyed them the bedding myself. I have thought about putting some up for sale but the amount of dye that I needed to dye these sheets and the amount of time um, I'm not sure if people would actually pay what I would probably charge. But it was a really fun project and I suggest if anyone wants to do it to totally just get a tie-dye kit and you'll use the entire kit probably. I had to get some extra yellow and other colors. Um, it was an awesome experience and I'm so happy that I did it. Next question is can you make a morning or night routine please? So... <laughs> I've got this question a few times too and it's kind of just funny to me. So I don't have a routine. I currently stay at my grandfather's house and I take care of him overnight and so my mornings are completely different every morning. And in terms of like uh, showering and washing my face and eating, um, I don't, I'm not on a schedule. Like my life is very dictated by how my grandfather's feeling in the morning and then along with like what else is going on in my family so I would like to film a night routine because I do think on I would say maybe two two out of the seven days of the week I'm able to kind of organize my night how I would like to I guess so um, but it would be more of like a perfect night so I don't know if that really represents my normal nights but I suppose I could do that in the future. Alright, so someone asked, would you consider selling it for $45,000? I have no idea. Um, other people have asked me and I've just kind of been... I'm not really sure this is a place that I built um, and it's super inspiring to be here, but I'm not opposed to um, selling it and building another one in the future. So I would say consider yes but there's so many other things to think about within that um, within that question. But I'll say, yes, I would consider it. All right, so this question is kind of more of a comment or suggestion, but I keep looking down because my questions are there if you're wondering why I'm looking down. So basically, is nobody offering me advice on my tiny house? People are offering me advice and I'm definitely taking all the advice that I get, but the idea is that I'll take their advice, but then I'll actually build it and do it myself so that once it does have issues, I'll know how to fix it. And of course I want the tiny house to last. I didn't build it not to last, 
there's nothing that's wrong with it that it will just like fall over in two years. It's built properly. Are there mistakes within it? Of course. But that was part of the opportunity that this was for me is that I'm building this tiny house and I get the opportunity to make mistakes and learn from it and just have more experience in terms of building and actually developing some sort of common sense in terms of just carpentry in, in general. Um, so people aren't telling me everything and how to do it. I'm just kind of working through it. So I don't know if that answered your question, but I do think it will last. I guess maybe I portray a this idea of that I'm just kind of doing it and who cares if I screw up or not. I'm, this is my project and I want to try to do it. Um, it very much is my project, but I do have many people offering me advice and input that I do take very seriously. So a lot of different people ask the same question as to where my house is kept. So my tiny house was built on my parents' property, and when I initially started, I was going to bring it with me to college. And so this was not the intention to leave it here. Um, and in the process of building it, I realized I didn't want to go to college and that I wanted to pursue something um, entrepreneurial online. I wanted to travel some. I just wanted to kind of get out there and and live my life a little bit um, and then maybe down the road go to college if that's something that I wanted. My tiny house is on my parents property. It's gonna stay here until I buy some some land somewhere in this area I believe. Yeah so I'm kind of living out of three houses if you haven't figured out that by now. I'm in my tiny house during the day when I'm not working. I work three days a week at a traditional job and then I do all this online stuff. So when I have days off, I spend a few hours, maybe up to like four or five hours in my tiny house doing work. Um, I eat in my parents' house. I'm with them doing work sometimes. I'm very much like going in and out of my parents' house in this house. And then I'm obviously up at my grandfather's house at night. Anyway, way off the initial question, my house is on my parents' property. Another question about Wi-Fi, do I have my own Wi-Fi out here? Yes, because it stretches to my parents, from my parents' house out here. Um, and otherwise, my brother does, my brother and his wife built a tiny house as well. Um, and they just got this hot spot thing and it seems to work fine. So I suppose if I, if and when it moves, I will get some sort of hot spot or something. I'm not really really sure yet, but the hot spot is, is an option that I know I could do. Do I have parents? Yes, I do have parents. Um, they both are teachers. Some of you guys have asked me to do a um, meet the parents video, so if I feel up to it or if other people enforce that, I will do it. How tall is my tiny house? My tiny house is 13 feet 5 inches on the high end um, at the front and it's 13 feet, wait a second, 12 feet 9 inches I believe on the lower end so it decreases like 9 inch, um, 8 inches or so. And on the inside it measures 11 feet 4 inches to the high side and then 8 inches left less on the um, other side. One other thing, a lot of people ask about the height of my, my loft. So my loft is 4 feet 8 inches um, and then it's like 4 feet on the low side. Um, and I was able to do that because I insulated my floor from the underneath which saved me about 5 inches which is a considerable amount of space in a tiny house. So there's been a lot of concern about the condensation people are seeing in the windows. It is not condensation. When I installed the windows, there's two little holes on the outside and there's two little pieces that went in it and I misplaced them and must have thrown them out and I don't have them. So there's no condensation on the inside of the window and just because I've probably had this question or concern about over a hundred times, I feel like I really just need to um, get two little pieces and cover them up. But yeah, I think it'll, it'll make the windows better too. So that was that. So what business did I contact and how did I ask for help? I contacted 
three, I believe, local hardware stores. And then, and I just basically said that I was 16 years old and that I really wanted to build this tiny house and, and share it through social media with um, other people, hopefully inspiring others and helping them to um, build tiny houses of their own. Um, the actual hardware store's name, um, Harrington's, gave me a huge donation as well as uh, Williams Lumber. Um, and there's one other place that I'm blanking on right now. When am I posting next? I'm posting right now. I used to, for about two months, I posted every single day and that was really draining. And then um, I kind of stopped and now it's been a lot of like, I've been traveling, I've been doing this certification, doing all sorts of stuff. And so I wish I could say I'm going to post every day or I'm going to post two times a week, but I really have no set schedule yet and I'm trying to get there, but because my life is so, um, it just doesn't really have, <laughs> there's nothing concrete about my life right now and um, I can't really plan on having time to make videos like four times a week or something so they will be coming I'm posting this right now and more will be coming soon there was so much concern about my toilet there is no toilet in there yet there will be a composting toilet so how old am I I'm 20 and I think I already said that but yes I'm 20 years old and my birthday is September 24th so I just turned 20 pretty recently why do I not live with my mom and dad? Again, this project was started with the intention that I was going to college. And so I built this and was planning on finding a college that would let me park it somewhere on their land or find someone privately who would allow me to hook up to their um, house and just park my tiny house there. So yes, if, if I didn't build this tiny house, I would definitely be living with my parents. There's also the factor that I'm staying at my grandfather's house, so like, I'm doing that now, too. So, yeah. I mean, I kind of do, I live in like three places right now, so, um, I can't say I don't live with my parents. I see them all the time, every day. Do I use any essential oils for aromatherapy? Yes. I don't know a lot about aromatherapy in general, but... I do have my salt lamp and I do put essential oils in there, but I mostly use um, like lavender, peppermint or spearmint, rosemary, um, orange, grapefruit I really like, um, tea tree, eucalypt eucalyptus, yeah. So I do use them, but I haven't done a lot of research in terms of what they actually help with. I think lavender is supposed to be like de-stressing and sleepy, sleepiness, maybe. I really have no idea. I'm not going to talk more about that. But I do use them with the intention that they will be benefiting me. Okay, question about the Wi-Fi again. I already addressed that, but where does the water and electricity come from? I'm hooked up to my parents' house just with an extension cord. Um, and I will not have water. I do not have running water in the tiny house and will not until it moves to a place that allows me to have it. So where I live, I can't have um, running water hooked up. Otherwise, I will be charged a fee because it's an extra unit and it's a town water system. So I will not have running water in here. I have not tested my plumbing at all. So that's just going to sit there until it moves, basically. I think that's all the questions that I'm going to answer right now. If you have more, you can leave them below. I hope I kind of addressed every, the, the majority of the questions. In a few of the past videos, I've asked for video suggestions, and I have got a whole lot of video suggestions, so I have no shortage of videos that I'm planning on filming. It's just finding the time to do so. And I've read through a lot of your recent comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
the majority of them are super encouraging and uplifting. Thank you for taking the time to actually write something and encouraging me to continue doing what I'm doing. It is definitely appreciated. I will see you guys very soon in another video. Um, there's so many things down below. There are many other other things that I'm doing in my life. I have this um, these apparel. Um, you can check that out. BeMoreBadass.com. It's linked below. I have a regular website for everything else that I'm doing. I have a tiny house ebook that's linked below. There's so much to share always, and I'm just going to leave it at that. If you have any video suggestions, you can leave them below. Um, comments, same. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you're having an amazing day.